Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Kevin with survivalistboards.com. I've got a little problem with my fig trees not growing. I mean, they're just not doing anything. I mean, every year they'll come in and they'll put in a few little sprouts like this, a couple of inches, and that'll be it. This tree here is three years old, has never bore fruit. I, don't, I just do not know what's going on. I suspect... I suspect a large part of it is deficiency, uh, nutrient deficiency in the soil. This sandy soil just does not have any real nutrients in it. This is in the chicken yard, so a lot of people say, first thing they're going to say is, Kevin, we'll compost around it. Add some compost around it. Well, this is in the chicken yard. And if I had compost around it, first thing the chickens are going to do, jump on there and just throw the compost out. So I mean, it's going to be a waste of time. I could take the time to build a frame, like a two foot or three foot square frame and then build another one outside of it with treated lumber and then put compost in, in between the two frames and put wire over all the top of it and that's the only way that we'll be able to keep the chickens out so and you're saying well kevin maybe it's too much nitrogen maybe maybe uh yeah uh, uh it's it's the nitrogen from the chickens the guys the chicken yard's a half acre i mean where's uh i mean look at the grass it's uh I mean, we've got plenty, plenty of room here for the chickens and the fig trees. So, I mean, that's that's definitely not, I mean, that's definitely not the problem of too much nitrogen. So, what I'm going to do is I've come to the conclusion I'm going to make myself a some organic fertilizer. I do not want to go down. I do not want to get some triple thirteen or triple ten or anything like that and throw on the fig trees. This one I planted last year. The whole top of it died off during the winter. These are the only sprouts that I've got coming out this spring. It's right here. And I've got one down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tree right here as an experiment. And this is a... I just sprayed some... I pruned this tree the other day and I sprayed some uh, sealant on there. This is a Celeste fig. It's just, it's, the it top of it died off. I mean, it was nice and tall. It had probably two foot up here I had to cut off because it was all dead. And we'll mix up an organic fertilizer. So let's go talk about that. For the fertilizer, I'm starting out with some bone meal. From what I understand, uh, like cows or pigs or whatever, they'll get this stuff from the slaughterhouses, dehydrate it, grind it up, and put it into a bag. This is 010. For you, those of you not familiar with the numbers on the fertilizer, think of it this way. Green tops, like corn. You want something to grow big and tall, a lot of green, greenery. First number. Second number is just the opposite. This is root production. Third number is for the pods, like peas. So in this case, this would make the this number here would make the fig tree grow tall. This one here would encourage root production. This would encourage fig production. Or theoretic, I mean that's just without going into all the detail, that's just there. Easy numbers to remember. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take a handful of this bone meal, fill this full of water. Just milk jug that I cut the top out of, fill it three quarters of the way full of water. Take a handful of bone meal, put in there. I've got some chicken manure. And then I've got some fireplace ashes. Really, there's ashes out of a smoker, my big barbecue pit smoker. Good hardwood ashes, oak, pecan, uh, wild cherry, stuff like that. Go mix it all in here, mix it all up with a stick, then go pour it on a fig tree. This is what bone meal looks like. Some of it I've seen is, some of it I bag I bought several years ago. I think it was white. And you'll have all different stuff in there, like just all different kinds of stuff. And this is a very slow release fertilizer. It's got all kind of like calcium and just all different kinds. I mean, everything in your bones. Everything in your bones. So, what we're going to do, this is an experiment, guys. So, we're going to do this. Then, we're going to come back in a month to take a look at the fig tree. Y'all saw the condition that it's in. There. I'm just going to put a handful of bone meal in there. Now, let's go get the chicken. Now let's go get the chicken manure. Y'all remember a few months ago, I was talking about cleaning out the chicken house. Well, this is where all the manure went. 
and I didn't quite get the compost pile going like what I wanted. But we've got us some nice aged chicken manure. This got all kinds of stuff in it. And this has got little eggshell particles and I mean just different from them breaking the eggs in there and I mean just little all different kinds of stuff. So it's aged chicken manure. Now, first thing I'll say, well Kevin, chicken manure is too hot. I know what the manual says. This is aged chicken manure. It's been out here for a couple of months. We're gonna take that, we're gonna drop it in there. Remember guys, this is an experiment. Fig tree's already in bad shape. It's not like we're gonna be, if it dies, which I expect it will anyway. Really, what have we lost? So let's just play around with it and see what happens. Okay, so there, we've got chicken manure and we've got bone meal. Now let's go get some fireplace ashes. For those of you who have never seen my smoker, here it is. Up on blocks, tires, trailer. Cooking area is something like six foot three long. Got a tray up there, bottom tray. Got a smoker over there. This was an experiment that went wrong. You know, that's the original smokestack. It's the original smokestack. Didn't quite work out good. So I added a smoker in the front, added this piece of pipe. So it's just welded a little bit on the out on the outside. It's fully welded on the inside. I just haven't finished welding it on the outside yet. The, uh, it's made out of a 250 gallon propane tank, butane tank. Sorry, butane tank. The firebox back here is uh, 24 inches on in diameter, two foot six long. So I can use a full two foot long piece of fireplace wood in there. All right, so we've got ashes here that are raked out from the smoker. Check the camera, make sure y'all can see that good. These are good hardwood ashes. And this is all uh, oak, pecan, wild cherry, stuff like that that we use in the smoker. I'm just gonna go ahead and add all, all kind of stuff in there. Going to just add some more. I mean, what's it gonna hurt, right? Let's just stir that up. And so there's the three components for our organic fertilizer. We've got chicken manure for nitrogen, aged chicken manure so it's not too hot. We've got bone meal to promote root growth. And then we've got ashes to promote the, the pod growth or hopefully the fig growth. All right, guys, let's go uh, pour that on our fig tree. All right, guys, here we go. And something else that I did on the way to the chicken yard was I stopped and I urinated into the bucket. Now, why not? Just, just why not? Why not go ahead and do it? So we've got some urine, bone meal, fireplace ash, well, really smoker ash, and uh, aged chicken manure. Today is March 10th. The guineas are upset and they were over there dusting. Uh, today is March 10th, 2017. We're gonna put this on there, we're gonna come back in a month. April 10th. We're gonna take a look at it. Let's just pour that around there. I want that to soak in. It may not soak in too good because we've got a lot of rain lately. If this tree dies, if I did something wrong or whatever, I'll also be able to tell by the grass. I'm hoping that uh, if this grass around here starts growing real good, I'll come along and I'll pull that up. But if the grass is growing, then um, that'll give me some kind of indication that something in there's working. Oh, that bone meal and stuff is down there getting dissolved. Something didn't dissolve real good. Okay, I 
thought I stirred it up good. All right, guys, today's March 10th. We're going to come back in a month. Notice the size of the sprouts. Let's see, get that tripod up there. Notice the size of the sprouts. Only about an inch long or so. This one down here is probably about a quarter inch long, five sixteenths. Come back in a month, take a look at it. I'll try to set the tripod right back here in the same spot. See what happens.